Breaking news, Toy Story fans, it looks like the brand new Ultimate Buzz Lightyear from Metacom just dropped for pre-order on Hobby Link Japan. That's hlj.com. Looks like it's going for $513.63. That is a big price tag for sure. It says that the item is limited to three per person. The item is expected to release in June of 2024. Pre-order yours now. You will not be charged until the item is released and your order is filled. I've never ordered from the Hobby Link Japan website. If you have, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your experience with this company. They seem really legitimate though. I know Metacom is a Japanese company, so that would make sense. Maybe in the future we will see this pop up maybe on you know Sideshow Collectibles or another US retailer like Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Story. Let's hope for that. Not really sure, but for now this is surprising. We still have time because June of 2024 it's still far away. Now the description only says one thing. This is a posable action figure. That's not good news for electronics because as we know, Metacom, when they made the Ultimate Woody, they also described that as a posable action figure, which means there's no working voice box. So I anticipate it looks like so far, this buzz does not have any working electronics but that's yet to be determined. So let's look at the details of the pictures they released here. It really does look like a Toy Story 3 buzz to me because the purple is a lot darker. The green looked a lot better on the prototype version, so maybe it won't be as dark as this. You know, we know in the movie, Buzz's green is actually more of like a mint color green, so it's a little bit lighter than what we see here. But overall, the aesthetic is really nice. And even if the helmet is not fully retractable, the very least, it is an option to remove it because shown here in the pictures, it looks like you can remove the helmet to pose Buzz. The laser button looks nice, but if we really, really zoom in here, it doesn't look like you can actually press it down, but I hope I'm wrong and I hope that it actually works. Because if you look at the laser part, it's not just a painted sticker or anything. It looks like it's translucent. So there is hope that maybe, maybe we get a laser light in there. If we don't, I'm sure it could be modified. I do like that the armbands black on the sides there look really good. His rubber waist, I hope it's real rubber there. Everything else looks pretty good, like on his legs, looks like he has good articulation. So far I think this looks pretty good. Let's look at the next photo. This is amazing. It looks like he has movie accurate sized wings here. I really like the way this looks. You know, I wish that the lights blinked. Maybe they do. There's a translucent bubble there. It looks like a little green LED or red one. I really, really hope that the wingtips light up. That would be amazing. If not, hopefully we can figure out how to modify this. Hopefully not though, because it is a $500 toy. If you zoom in here on the head and the helmet area, you know, it looks like it's possible that this retracts all the way into his body because it looks here, this resting plastic piece looks like it's retracted back. I believe that it's very possible this could be a fully retract helmet but it would be manual. You don't press a button. You would just pull that tab in the back there and maybe you just open it and it goes all the way back inside his body. That's what I'm really hoping for because at the very least you can pose him like that and it's fully retracted in that way. So let's hope for the best, but I do love that wingspan. It's finally the perfect balance between the Disney store, straighter wings, and also Thinkway Toys quality, but it looks also that it's just overall longer, which is more like the movie. Here, Buzz in flight mode looks like straight out of the movie, in my opinion. I think this looks really great, and this is probably one of my favorite promo images so far. Here we have the tab here on the top. So as you can see here, I'm hoping that, you know, when you open the helmet, it doesn't just stay there halfway like that, because I think it looks kind of goofy. Now, looking at their toy mode expression, it's very close, but it's still not there. I mean, I love the paint applications, the sculpting is incredible. Is it exactly like Toy Story 1 Buzz? No, I would say the toy mode looks more like a Toy Story 3 Buzz Lightyear, in my opinion. Definitely looks more of like a modern Buzz, but I'm not complaining, at least they tried and attempted a toy mode it looks like. So I am very happy with them at least trying that. And that looks pretty nice though. Overall, I'm happy with that. It looks like the arms can be lowered here if you look at them. It looks like they're pretty much lowered compared to, you know, Disney Store or Thinkway so far. So I am happy with this. Let's look at the next one. Here you can see that the helmet's open halfway. Again, 
I hope that it doesn't just stop there and you can actually open it all the way through. If not, it will most likely be removable, that's for sure. I do like here on the side how the wings are tucked away. I think there's a chance that we can press that red button and the wings do pop out. That kind of looks like that's what it's set up for here in the pocket of the wings when you fold it in. If not, you know, it's still cool, but let's just hope that we have some you know, wings that can pop out like the movie. In the back, the helmet looks pretty clear. I like the screw holes. I like that there's not like overly too many screw holes. It looks pretty clean. I do appreciate that by Metacom. Everything looks great, you know. I'm, I don't know if the karate chop action is gonna work on this thing. Maybe not, but it looks great. I love the details, the applications of everything. So far, it looks awesome. I'm assuming that this works with the swappable face system, kind of like what we got for Metacom Woody. That's what I'm assuming. It'll be like the same head sculpt, but then you can swap the faces out and maybe move the eyeballs. That's what it looks like from these promo images. We'll have to wait and see. I do love these. These are really fun and neat, but obviously the toy mode one is the one I'm most interested in. And I think that they tried. I think the mouth is definitely off, but it's the eyeballs look really good though. You know, it's not perfect. It's not exactly like the movie, but I see an attempt there. Another great pose of Buzz here in this promo image. You know, this looks like an animated toy come to life so far. You can see on the eyeballs, there's a little gap there. So I'm assuming you can move those eyeballs around and trying to look at the helmet a little closer here. It looks like it tabs all the way open, guys. It looks promising here. It looks like it's not just an added resting piece, but I could be wrong. I'm just hoping for the best that it's fully retractable. The fact that Buzz can reach his left arm over to his right arm there to hit that laser button means that that articulation is great because it looks like his shoulder joint pops out to do that, to enable that feature. Because normally Buzz would not be able to do that on the toy. So I believe this is the first movie accurate Buzz scale toy that can do this because that is crazy articulation there for the arms and the shoulder joint. So that is pretty cool looking. Here's the helmet fully closed. It looks really nice as well. I love that the wrist communicator opens, guys. That is a huge clue there that Metacom is going the extra mile with this because at least, you know, with Woody, we didn't get a retractable pull string. But here we are getting a wrist communicator that opens up. So that is promising. It opens and closes. At the very least, I think this is a really excellent buzz to modify. So they actually added ball joints just like the movie which makes this the most movie accurate Buzz Lightyear we've ever gotten from a toy company officially. Because look at those ball joints there on the wrists. That to me makes this toy worth it, worth the $500 price point for me. If you pay someone to custom modify this, you're gonna pay $500 to do that. So I think that's really great and I'm most excited for the ball jointed wrists there. Here's another shot of the wrist communicator. So this picture confirms we actually are getting a wrist communicator sticker and it is able to open and look at that ball joint. I'm just so happy. I'm so excited for this. This is the buzz we've all dreamed of. You can see that the shoulder's popping out to reach over. It's just like the movie, guys. They finally did it. They gave us a really amazing articulated buzz that looks movie accurate. I'm very happy with this. I love this running pose of buzz. And I love that it says Andy on the bottom of the shoe. So we have Andy written on the bottom with a little toe articulation, it looks like there. Super excited about that. So yeah, this is the perfect buzz. I'm definitely getting this. Even if there's no working electronics, it's movie accurate in many ways just by looking at it. Look at how low the arms are here. That is really nice. So far, I think this beats Thinkway Toys. For the fact that you have a helmet that looks fully retracted, that is a plus over the collection buzz. Another reason for this one is look at the arms. They're a lot lower and closer to the body something that Thinkway Toys didn't do. You know, this definitely looks a lot lower. Another reason is the ball jointed wrists. Thinkway Toys did not give us that, so that is another plus from this Metacom. So that alone to me is worth the price, even though it's not exactly toy mode. This face looks better than what Thinkway Toys gave us as well. So I see a lot of things here that Metacom has done that aesthetically it's more pleasing than the Thinkway Toys collection buzz. So, so far it beats it. The only way I could see Thinkway Toys beating this Metacom buzz is due to the electronics and you know, the light blinking on the laser, his voices of course, you know, and the wingtips lighting up. So I hope that Metacom gives us some more deluxe features here, but here's hoping for the best. But so far I'm very pleased. If I buy this buzz, I'm definitely gonna keep it in the collection. And even some swappable hands that look like they're posed differently. So. 
If you wanted the standard buzz, you can do that with the fingers that are separated and you can move them, or you can have some fun neat poses with the hands. So it comes with a lot of hands there. It looks pretty great. This is a really incredible Buzz Lightyear. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to have this in my hands for review for you partners. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think of this Buzz Lightyear? I think it's worth the $500 just because of what I've seen so far in these images. It does seem worth it to me. If this has extra features like a karate chop action or you know LED lights on the laser at least or the wingtips, I'll be very satisfied with that. And if not, overall, it's just aesthetically really pleasing. It's a really nice Buzz Lightyear. This is probably the most movie accurate scaled wings I've ever seen on a Buzz. Looks incredible. Looks straight out of the film in my opinion. So these wings look the best so far from what I've seen in any Buzz in movie scale. So I'm very excited for this and I can't wait to get it. If I have any more news about this Buzz, please come back to my YouTube channel and I'll update you some more. As always partners, thank you so much for watching, liking, and commenting on these videos. It really helps support what I do here on YouTube. If you'd like to continue to support me on this journey, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're, a, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham. Look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.